Hi everyone, welcome back to Outside Xbox, where we are getting started on the festive period early by getting drunk at work. We have an entire table full of booze and a recipe. The bare knuckle boxer from Hitman's Paris level, the showstopper, and we are going to make that. And you can follow along at home if you are of legal drinking age where you live. Please drink responsibly. Hello. What are you chaps talking about? Uh, what the hell is a bare knuckle boxer? The sanguine boss, Novikov. Yes, if I could make him one. So it's from the showstopper level in, uh, in Hitman, Paris. You can find it down in the basement. The cocktail recipe for the bare knuckle box is right here. So let's memorize that. And it is two fl flaws, of fluid ounces yes. of rum. <laughs> That's the correct pronunciation. Flounces of rum, <laughs> one fluid ounce of vodka, one fluid ounce of orange juice. There's as much vodka as there, there is orange juice in this recipe. Yes, it's my kind of recipe. It's going to be strong. <laughs> a pinch of salt, a pinch of sugar. Don't forget to stir proper before serving. This is exactly copied from the way it's written in the game. So this is a cocktail you can mix. Ten the bar, bare knuckle boxer. Here he is. You. You look like you know what you're doing. It did have an additional ingredient that time, which was a load of emetic poison. Please enjoy and have some poison. Let's see if I can do it before we start. I'm gonna... Good. Basically good it. There we go. Bombs up. Yeah, your Tom Cruise in cocktail. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're getting all of this. Yeah! After that short flare bartending break there. <laughs> There's uh, a job at TGI Fridays just waiting for you. Let's let's begin. <laughs> Is that the signal for beginning? Mike, you clearly never flare bartended <laughs> <laughs> before. Two fluid ounces of rum. Yes. I, I don't know what a fluid ounce you... is. Probably a two of those. A shot is a fluid ounce. Probably. All right. That seems. I mean, quite a lot of rum. As long as we get the proportions right, though, it's fine. So. Is all this rum gonna fit in that tiny cocktail shaker? I don't think it is. All right, let's go with, with that and then we'll do half of vodka and half of orange juice. Okay. And then the proportions will be correct. Sounds good. Now you want the, the skull vodka. Yep. Uh, other what? brands of vodka are available. Yeah, but why would you bother? Just get the gothiest one. Have you broken the lid? Yeah. It's all right, I got it. You got, I got it, it, you got it, you got it. Yeah, got nothing's it. keeping me from my vodka. <laughs> right, half of that. Okay. With vodka. Okay, that's about half. Is, is that about half? See that that's camera? I'm rounding up. It's about half. In the festive <laughs> spirit already. Uh, okay, cool. and, and half, half of that. Orange juice. Yeah, well, the same half that you did. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it smells. Oops, that's a full one. Does it smell like Christmas? It smells of alcohol. That'll um, do. Please. I'm going to add it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think the more orange juice, the better this is going right. to taste. We put uh, an ice cube in there. A single ice cube. To chill it. <laughs> we need a pinch of salt and a pinch of sugar. Right, we've got these. I don't know which is which. So but it's, a, it's a, it, I mean, it's a pinch of each. Doesn't matter, yeah. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Pinched. I think that's sugar. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt in there. Are you going to shake it though? Oh yeah, I've got to stir it and shake it. <laughs> that's how that goes, right? Oh, it makes a nice sound with the little ice cube in there. Yeah, it's a little uh, flare bartending trick. <laughs> <laughs> I learned during my masters. Sure, Andy. Sure. Whoa. I'm being flare bartended on. Are you putting a hex on me? Yes. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna serve in one of these mason jars. Cause it's hip three. Get in there, how does it look? It, oh, looks, it looks brown. A lot like drain water. <laughs> I mean, it's not an appetizing color. What does it smell like? Mainly smells of booze. Mainly smells of booze. Yeah. Maybe some ice would make it <laughs> more palatable. <laughs> Garnish with... Can't do that in a mason jar. <laughs> there, there, like that. That looks good. Yeah. And it looks festive. Uh, what else have we got? A candy cane, probably, I don't know. That's going to go. go beautifully. Mint and, you know when you brush your teeth and then you drink orange juice afterwards? Yes. That's what that's going to be. Delicious. Like. Well, I'm not drinking it, so let's get a guinea pig in <laughs> <laughs> to test it out. Luke, are you ready to sample our bare knuckle boxer? Could I just, like, check my contract or something? <laughs> yes. like... No. It's fine. You didn't see us make it, right? Just take a sip and then give right, us your, okay. your general thoughts on, on, the, on the nose, the palate, okay. you know, mark out a 10. Go. Give it a sniff. Mm. What are you getting? Mm. Like citrus. <laughs> That's the reaction you always look for with a cocktail. I'm getting something. <laughs> it's a, it's got a strong uh, everything. Um, a strong I'm, everything flavour. I'm sort flavor. of detecting, is it like sort of orange juice? Uh, it feels kind yes, of... Yes, there's a yeah. bit of orange juice in there. I'm amazed you managed to pick it out in amongst the booze. It? Uh, it's super boozy. <laughs> like, like sort of like nail polish remover. Kind of. um, is it like got sort of vodka-y kind of... I mean, it's nice and cold. 
Well, that's, that's good. I mean, yeah. good. I love that you've gone all out with the flair. The garnish, yeah. That's... That cherry's yours to take home. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't D taste... Delicious is the word you're... <laughs> it tastes delicious. There you go. I'm enjoying it more with every sip. <laughs> if, if you were served that in a bar and yeah. you knew there were people out there trying to kill you, would yeah. you finish the drink? <laughs> Would you assume that had emetic poison in it? I mean, how, do you, how vomity do you feel? I kind right of now? assume that I've been poisoned now, <laughs> to be honest. Good, uh, good. Oh, oh, what I would say is that if you added uh, an emetic poison to this, I don't think you would necessarily notice what had been added. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't under. necessarily make it worse. It wouldn't, yeah. You're saying poison wouldn't spoil the taste? Yeah, poison wouldn't spoil the taste. <laughs> <laughs> That's my review. So poison wouldn't ruin it. Is Loves it like it. being punched in the face by a bare knuckle boxer? Um, it, not in the face, but like like raining body blows around the ribs. <laughs> right. So, like I can feel it sort of punching its way down. Okay. You know. Yeah. All right. Ow. I give him three hours. <laughs> Tops. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let us know if you make one of these at home and if it comes out any better than our attempt. And we will see you soon for another cocktail video on Outside Xbox. <laughs>